That boy is Benny Hanna. All right, guys, yesterday was pretty interesting in terms of drops. Uh, first, I ended up getting a pair of their women's space hippies from uh, Titolo. I think in a size seven and a half men, size nine women. And then I also ended up getting two pairs of the Comedy Garçon print dunks from Farfetch at a size 11 and a half and size 12 women's. For the dunks, actually, I'm gonna be holding both of those since dunks have been appreciating pretty rapidly nowadays. I feel like a Comedy Garçon dunk, especially that print code, we had the potential to go up a lot in a short period of time. So I'm gonna be holding on to those and see what happens with the price of those. And then for the, um, the DSML drop of the Space Hippies, as you saw, I got declined on one of my tasks for size seven and a half in the Space Hippie 2. Even right now, the charge is still on my card, as you can see. So, not sure why that happened, but for this drop today for the University Red Slash St. John Dunks, I'm gonna change the Addy, I'm gonna change it from my apartment to my uh, my house, just so I know that 100% would to go through. Maybe it's because I used the apartment. Shopify just didn't like it. This day, even though they used it other times, I'm not sure. Once again, I'm not sure what happened, really, but hopefully I can avoid it happening again. But yeah, with that being said, let's get to the DSML drop. All right, just wanted to give an update on the uh, Nike Dunk Low uh, St. John drop. Balco worked, it actually ended up taking 140 or so of the 170 available pairs. But the thing is that uh, DSM actually didn't use bot protection, which is pretty surprising because they usually do. So although my task all picked up, I was all running extra safe mode, expecting them to use bot protection, which is the reason why I ended up getting in queue, slowing in them not copying, because the people who cop, they use regular mode. So that's obviously the way faster if there's no bot protection. So yeah, they were able to get through, so I ended up getting stuck in queue. And then uh, my space hippie order from Titolo actually ended up getting canceled, which is probably a good thing because after the conversion, it came out to almost $200. And I'm pretty sure that that uh, colorway in the shoe is like the most released so that kind of tanked the heart so i don't think it wouldn't have even worth copying but yeah in about 20 minutes we're gonna have these uh kit tees uh kit fix the system tees come dropping so hopefully i can get a couple gonna be running five tasks for each of them on balco and yeah let's see what happens all right one minute before a drop i have balco and cyber setup but i'm only gonna be winning uh balco since balco's been doing better on shopify 
five tags for the black tee, five tags for the white tee. So hopefully everything goes well and I can hit a tee. Not sure what's happening. Got one in the car and got a checkpoint found, but it's moving really slow. I don't think that they throttle proxies. Yeah, I'm feeling like they definitely might have throttled proxies now. Because this is going way slower than it usually does. All right, so looks like going forward, I'm definitely going to have to, I guess, start using resis or some ISP proxies or something because this is getting out of control with these uh all these Shopify sites starting to throw the proxies and stuff. All right, what's going on, guys? Just wanted to go over some recent cops I got. Um, in terms of online cops, first I got the uh, Kobe Bryant limited uh this in basketball like snakeskin one. Got it off dicks, and then also got uh. A pair of wet to fours and a size 10 and a half off uh, foot action. End up coming up to about 180 shipped. The usual retail is like 200. And on top of that, now they're going for like 250. And then another thing I picked up was a, I mean, Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 Inertia, uh, size five. But yeah, and then also got a couple of uh, steals in store. The first in store cop is right here. This is the Air Max One uh, Special Edition Black Gum in a size 14. As you can see, it's just all white and black all around. Nothing really to see. Got the gum sole. The thing that makes this a steal though is that if you look at the receipt right here, hopefully you can see that. I got this pair for $21. Usual retail is $140 for this pair. And even on Go and stuff, you can sell these for like $100, $110 easy, even with no box. Got this from Burlington, so came with no box, obviously. But yeah, for $21, you really can't beat that kind of value. And then for the other shoe I picked up right here, we have the Air Jordan 9 Retro Boot NRG in a size 12 and a half. And then right here, you can see we have the uh, the wheat version of the uh, Air Jordan 9 boots. As you can see, it's just an all wheat colorway, nothing too special about it. But the thing that is special about it is when you see the price I paid, which is right here, as you can see, they'll have the sale tag on, it says $69.99. And in comparison, these retail for $225. And even putting these on stock extra, so you can still get like $200 back for the bigger size. This is a size of 12 and a half, like I was saying. But yeah, I mean, a $70 is a very good price. I mean, easily make like over $100 just on this one pair alone but yeah now on to uh the drop hairs are going to be dropping in about 40 minutes from right now my friend wants pair of size 11 to 14 so i'm gonna be wanting him on west we're gonna be one inhibit we're gonna be wearing finish line jd sports and a couple tasks on e-blends nothing too much in e-blends because i know they cancel multiples a lot so just wanting that to see if I can get like an extra pair or two for him. And then um, in terms of finish line and JD Sports, if West doesn't work due to the app not working, I do have, uh, as of right now, I have Cyber as a backup. So I'll turn that on only if I need to. But hopefully the app isn't too um, isn't too bogged down and West can come through. But yeah, let's see what happens during the time. All right, we got everything running right now. If it should be the first thing to go. I'm guessing the site's crashing. Let me, uh, let me find a link, take a quick look manual, just, uh, just to see. Here we go. Interesting. My, maybe my task is getting picked up by perimeter X or something. All right, so prohibit people are saying that it worked, but it didn't update the status. So I gotta ask uh, the guy I'm running for if he got any, uh, any checkouts. All right, there we go. All right, we got that working. figure out this issue so we can get this going before these pairs so he would add a site 13 right there but i mean if he's getting declined i mean there's not much i can do there so yeah we're gonna assume that hibbit did work i'm not sure how many tasks would have worked but we're gonna assume it definitely worked it's just that he got declined i mean if your person's getting declined there's not much you can do about that on West Chat, people are saying that finish line is declining heavy, so it might not actually even be his card, maybe. It might just be blocking stuff in general. Not really sure. But first, I need to get this uh, 
CSB to open. I don't know why it's not opening for me. Okay, still not work. I'm not sure why I'm getting some invalid shipping. I'm doing. I don't know what that's all about, but task is still not working. And Wes is still stuck in queue. All right, my guy's saying he, it's showing him that he has charges. So maybe it is hitting. I don't know. I just know that um, as far as what I'm seeing, it's showing all the clients. So we're going to try it again right now. Apparently the app still isn't working. Seems only uh, desktop's working, I guess. I don't really know. Finish line, they're not letting anything through right now. Yeah, see, even it's on like 760. That's like four pairs in one order. I'm not sure that's possible. But I mean, it's showing charges are appearing, but it's not showing success on my end. So I'm gonna stop for uh, the moment time being until we can see exactly what's going on because i don't want to keep just ghosting him he's not getting any emails because that's not i mean there's no not really much point of doing that all right to recap what happened with the hair sixes basically uh was cooked hibbit for some reason my task stayed on wait for instant checkout i believe it's because i started too early i started like an hour early just to try and avoid the bot protection and stuff but then looking at the people who i checked out most of them had like really low task times i mean they started close to the release so i'm guessing my proxies probably got banned or something within that hour so that didn't work and then for finish line it was more the same but the app not working and stuff so the dev is saying that he's gonna have the web version of finish line finished by the top three released to have it tested by the uh, staff and stuff so that we can have it for the tie-dye ones so it has to be pretty good we shouldn't have that problem anymore i should have ran cyber from the start but i was banking on what's working so i didn't even bother to set up just because i didn't have the uh, profiles ready to go Seemed like they cooked the majority of the pairs. And I guess all those declines I was getting, I guess those were out of stock declines. So unfortunately that's like, I think my uh, my slot guy, he said that he ended up getting 441 charges, which wouldn't be a problem because finish line usually instant refunds, but Amex does an instant refund. So it's gonna take a couple days to get it all back. So hopefully he has it back for this year. On another note though, we have a couple of things to unbox. So let's get into them. All right, first thing first, we have this uh, box right here from Dix. Breaks down to the smaller box, you can see right there it says 2020 Silver Kobe Snake 24 karat. And here you see we have the uh, limited edition uh, Kobe Snake Skin Basketball. Overall, it looks pretty nice overall. I mean, it really is the basketball with a snake skin like um, cover on it. Right now, not reselling for much. I think it's only going for like 20, 30 over retail, but probably will be a good haul until around like January or so when the anniversary of his uh, passing comes around. If you're looking to resell, probably be worth more money then. And then. For the other unboxing, we have the right here, the women's Nike Dunk Low CDG, and it's a 11 and a half women's or 10 men's. And right here, you can see that I have the first of the two of my pairs of the print CDG Dunks. Uh, first impression of this shoe, that this shoe was really, really ugly. Uh, they look way better in the pictures than they do in hand. Like this definitely isn't a dunk I would wear, especially not for the price. I mean, these cost like 260 retail. So I see why resell isn't there yet. I mean, as you can see, it's all see-through with the, it's like an outer layer of like some kind of plastic material. And there's like a mess on the inside so you can see the print all over. I mean, all black shoe. Besides that, I got the black laces. Uh, right here on the insole says, coming and got shown. Hopefully you can see that. It's got the black sole and everything too. Perhaps it did this in like white or another colorway do more justice, but but I am gonna be holding this along with my uh, other pair, the side trope that's coming in soon. Not just because it's not really making much money right now, but also because since the dunk hype is there right now, I'm banking on within the next couple of months these going up in value. Because as far as I know, only CDG, I mean, only the uh, DSM website and Farfetch had these. So there's only like, maybe like a thousand pairs of each or like a couple thousand. I mean, these are really limited considering what they are. And even when you look at like StockX and Go, there's not many listings. So I figured that 
if you give it some time. Prices should go up as the uh, market dries out. But yeah, on that note, that's going to bring us to the end of episode 12. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe. Especially the subscribe portions that shows that you're supporting the videos. And that you want to keep uh, coming back for more and things like that. But yeah, for drops for the next video, uh, tomorrow Supreme is dropping. The drop is mostly bricks, but they are also dropping a, um, a stapler, I heard. A Supreme stapler. So I'm not sure if that's going to be so I might go for that or I might just not win it all. On Saturday, we have the Jordan 5 top threes. Not going to get to any of those for myself, but I should be winning those for my, uh, the guy I win slots for it from time to time. Probably going to win Cyber as well for finish line stuff. So I have a backup in case. Russ's, um, web mode isn't finished. So that should be a cook in theory. Then on Tuesday, the Jordan 17, I mean, excuse me, the LeBron 17 graffitis. Uh, those should be a cook on my side, like 12 and 13. So prices are looking good on stock as I'll win a couple of those. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have two shoes. We're going to have the Champs Colors Nike SB Dunks, the uh, blue and orange ones. And then we're going to have the Air Force One uh, South Koreans. For that, I already know that um, the Dunks are going to be really hard to get. Nike's definitely going to filter and then a lot of sites are going to be using proxy protection. Actually, speaking of proxy protection, let me give an update on the proxies I'm using right now. So right now, my current list is a... Uh, Cookie IO DC proxies, Notify Vuitton proxies, and using Hex Comcast proxies. I was using T Click over the last month, but I let those expire. I'm not going to renew just because the proxies are good. But the thing is just that they don't work on finish line. And I would like to have proxies that I can just use them on all sites since, you know, I'm already paying so much for them. They might as well work everywhere. So unfortunately, those didn't make the cut. And also, unfortunately, after buying Hex Comcast, I also realized that those don't work on finish line as well. Unless they were to start working somehow, I probably won't be renewing those either and then i also picked up space isps again for the reason that a they work on finish line and b apparently those proxies actually work against bot protection well the new proxy protection because you know sites like dsm and y and stuff and every drop i'm always getting uh i'm always getting throttled and stuff apparently their isps have a subnet that don't get throttled and when i purchased i got that subnet so i'm gonna be trying those for the next uh couple of drops and see if those work out but yeah, and then, but then back to the uh, Air Force South Koreans. Not sure I'm gonna go for those. Yeah, I gotta check with the retail prices on them, but if prices are looking good, I'll win those on Nike as well. But yeah, if you wanna see what I caught, you gotta tune in to next episode.